Judgment day for a man accused of leading police on a high speed chase. This one ended in the death of an eight year old little girl and her mother. This was back in 2019. Riley Ewald and her mother, Tanya Horn, were on their way home from picking up Riley's puppy at the vet. A special trip they waited until Riley was out of school to make. Riley's dad, Eric, was driving just as their vehicle was crossing the street near Southwest 44th and Villa. Another vehicle driven by Andrew Munoz slammed into them going more than 80 miles an hour. Munoz was on the run from police at the time. News source Caitlin Ogle picks up the story from here and Caitlin, the defendant and husband Eric, they had a heart to heart in the courtroom today. Absolutely, and just before Judge Stallings handed down the life sentences, Andrew Munez actually turning and apologizing to Eric, saying he never meant to hurt anyone and that he couldn't even forgive himself. Ultimately, the judge sentenced Munez to four consecutive life sentences. You can either have an accident or you can start making choices one right after another, and then it's on you. It's not just an accident. Andrew Munez leaving the courtroom in handcuffs on Tuesday. The judge giving him four consecutive life sentences for the death of Tanya Horn and eight year old Riley in 2019. Their mother and grandmother reacting to the sentencing two years after they were lost. Justice was served on Tanya Horn and Riley E. Wall's behalf. The now 30 year old Munez convicted of stealing a truck and leading police on a brief chase in Southwest OKC. He's probably doing. 80 miles an hour. Just seconds later, slamming into the family's car at 80 miles per hour, killing Tanya, Riley, and their puppy instantly. Oh, wreck. He just crashed out. Two officers taking the stand, unable to even watch the body cam footage from that day, saying they remembered the car's lone survivor, husband and father, Eric, later asking where his girls were. His face covered in blood and oil, his hip shattered in nine places. The heartbroken family now coming face to face with the man who took their lives. It's the first time I've seen him in person. In court, Munez's parents asking for mercy, saying that crucifying their son won't change anything, describing him as a good man who struggles with substance abuse. Munez, a father himself, turning to look at Eric in the eye, asking for forgiveness, saying he'd take back what happened if he could. It hurts. It'll always hurt. And after Munez apologized, Eric told him Riley would have forgiven him instantly. But for himself, he's just not there.